Hello everyone, this is Alejandro Cremades and today we're going to be talking about how to put together an investor outreach strategy. So before we get started, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and this way you will never miss out on any of the videos that we roll out every week. So getting out there and getting in front of the right people. In front of the right people that are going to be investing in your company, that are going to be excited about the opportunity of potentially even investing in your business. That have the right type of investment thesis uh, that they've been looking to invest in companies like yours is essential. Because you want to optimize your time, the time that it takes from to getting out there to getting the money in the bank. So in today's video, we're going to be breaking it down for you and giving you a step-by-step -step guide so that you can really get that strategy, so that you know who you want to get out there and how you're going to be closing the money that your company needs. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first you need a strategic roadmap. You need that strate strategic roadmap that is going to allow you to understand what that process is going to look like. What is going to happen from point A to point C, meaning from researching the list and putting everyone together to actually getting the money in the bank. You need to design that. You need to design who you're going to go after, what's going to happen, what are going to be all the different touch points and what you're going to be using in terms of touch points and all the way to getting that money in the bank. So that is the strategic roadmap. That's something that you need to develop and something that you need to keep in mind. And then also keeping in mind as well where you are at in terms of financing cycle, because that strategy is not going to be the same if you are at a seed stage, which is the first round of financing, going after individuals mainly, or if it's a series A round where you're essentially going for the first time after institutional investors like venture capital firms. So again, put your strategy together as the first step in this process. Before you actually put the investor strategy, or the outreach together, you want to make sure that you have the right team in place. I mean, ultimately, especially if you're at the early stages of your business, the investors, they're going to be investing in you. They're going to be investing in helping you in building this company, but they're going to do so if they see that the right people are seated in the right seats. So essentially, keep an eye out, understand what's in the next 18 to 24 months in the execution, and make sure and guarantee to the investor that you have the right people there and that essentially you're going to be able to execute. Also, also you want to create a budget for this. It costs money to raise money, whether that is a flight, travel, advertising, promotion, putting together PR so that it goes in line with your fundraising efforts and it allows you to create the storm you need to budget. You need to budget too for perhaps the designer that is going to be putting together the pitch deck template or the pitch deck for you. By the way, you can use the pitch deck template below that founders are using to raise millions all over the world. But essentially, you want to budget and to make sure that you have that money in place. Then you want to know the market. You want to know who are the players, who are your competitors that are directly there against you or the indirect competitors. You want to know as well how big this market is, who are the potential investors that make sense, and then what is getting them excited and what are some of the potential concerns that are out there at this moment in time. Then you want to know the target investors. You want to know who you are going after because you want to optimize, as I said earlier, the time. You want to make sure that you're going after the right investor at the right time that it's going to be thrilled about hearing about your opportunity. So some of the things to keep in mind and consider when you are essentially putting this, these targets together is the following factors. The check sizes these investors are issuing the length of their fund and synergy and timeline, their investment philosophy and thesis, their investment criteria and priorities, references from other startups and entrepreneurs, past successful and failed investments, preferred methods of communicating, their personal interests, likes, passions, and fears, critiques of past pitches 
versus approved and recommended pitch deck templates. Then you want to know what are the best channels to really get out there and get in front of these people. What are going to be those channels? Some of the channels to keep in mind and to really execute when it comes down to getting out there are the following. Twitter, LinkedIn, Crunchbase, email, phone, introducers, crowdfunding platforms, in-person networking. Next thing is to craft the message. You want to put together the message, for example, on your emails, whether that is the opening paragraph, whether that is the next paragraph that is going to be your background, or the last paragraph that is going to be the call to action for the request of the meeting. But ultimately, you want to put together an email that makes sense. And then also, you want to craft the next day messages that you're going to be using for every step of the way when you're engaging with those investors. But for that initial outreach, the email is critical, a powerful subject line, an email where there is a first paragraph opening up that is introducing yourself with the background story as the second paragraph and then with a call to action to really request that meeting or phone call. Then you want to create your marketing materials because you are creating that incredible storm. You want to get people pumped. You want to start them feeling and hearing about your company and about you every single place they go to. And some of the things that you're going to be putting in place are the following. Press release indication, blogging, article distribution, Twitter and other target social media marketing, PPC advertising, outdoor advertising. So then, of course, is the pitch stick. Again, the pitch stick is critical. Don't start from scratch. You can use the template below that founders are using all over the world. It's for free. Now, the pitch stick is going to be 15 to 25 slides, period. It's the storytelling, it's the future and the possibility that you're painting out there for them to get excited. It's that flow, that structure, the way that you're positioning things. It's again, it's like watching a movie. You want to leave them in a way that is moving, touching, and inspiring. And that's what you're doing with your pitch deck. Now remember, the three most important slides based on data that investors review the most are number one, the financials by a mile. Number two, the team, who is behind the team. And number three is the competition, the market. Those are the three most important slides, so make sure that you're nailing those. Also create supporting documentation. So for example, you want to have your due diligence folder already created. You want to have every single document that they may want to take a look at to validate the claims that you're making, literally already for them to review. So when they're ready to dance, when they're, in, when they're already interested, ready to go, don't become the bottleneck. Have that already in place. Just create maybe like a Dropbox folder with all your due diligence materials or maybe like a Google Drive folder with all of those materials. And when they're ready to dance, just give them the link and say, let me know if you have any questions. That way you're not like waiting for one-offs, which ultimately is going to be a super painful process and is going to delay you getting the money into the bank account. Then now it's time to unleash the investor outreach. Start getting those meetings. Start thinking about this as a sales process where there's different phases on that sales cycle and never approach a first meeting with trying to get the check because on the first meeting, you're just going to be making a promise. You're going to tell them that you're here. And then over the course of time, they're going to see how you execute and how you are delivering on your promise. So your intention is not to get the money on that first meeting. Your intention is to get to the next meeting because the more meetings that you get, the more concerns that you're able to address. And fundraising is all about addressing concerns because when there is no concerns, that means that the money's in the bank. So again, always think about this as how or what do I need to do to get to the next meeting with this investor because that is going to get you closer to the money. 
Then you want to track and measure your performance. I mean, how many of your emails are being opened? How many of your emails are being responded? How many meetings are you able to schedule? How many follow-up meetings are you getting? So think about this as a funnel and see where you're dropping the ball. Where could you optimize? Where could you do better things? And again, this is all about over overperformance, like really thinking about how can you like do better than where you were doing and how you can take things to the next level. So Hopefully you like this video, hit a like, leave a comment below and let me know how you're thinking about your investor outreach strategy and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on all the videos that we're rolling out every week. And if you're fundraising, send me an email at alejandro at pantheraadvisors.com. I would love to help you out with your capital raising efforts. Thank you so much for watching.